Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. Marianne Nails have very kindly sent me five of their stamping plates to swatch and review. So I just want to say a big thank you to Marianne Nails for sending them to me. I'm going to swatch and review the first stamping plate which is stamping plate number one and you can find all of the information and social media links for Marianne Nails in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on. And please also like this video. These really help out my channel. Thank you. For my swatches, I'll be using my favorite scraper along with my Born Pretty Jewel White and Clear Stamper. And I'll be using the clear head for them as well as five coloured nail tips which I'll be swatching onto and I'll start with the green nail tip and I'll be using a white stamping polish. I do have a Marianne nail playlist here on my channel which has quite a few of their stamping plates which I've swatched and reviewed. I've either purchased or I've been sent them and definitely worth it checking out. I really like this bright green and white combo it's really nice for spring. For my second swatch, I'll be using a orange colored nail tip and I'll be swatching in red. I'm really liking bright colors at the moment. I'm really ready for spring and summer to be fully here. And this swatch is definitely one for the summer. For my third swatch, I'm going to be using a red nail tip along with the white stamping polish again. I'd love to fill this rose image in with colour. I think it would look amazing. Now I know that Nail Artisan here in the UK and Lantern and Wren in the US are stockists, but also Marianne Nail's website ships worldwide too, so it's definitely worth checking out. The fourth swatch I'll be using a light blue nail tip along with my favourite dark blue stamping polish. As you can see Marianne Nails stamping plate number one is really easy to use. Brilliant pickup, and I love light blue and dark blue combo, it's one of my favourites at the moment. For my fifth swatch, I'll be using a pink nail tip along with a dark purple stamping polish. The orange mani you can see on one of my hands is also from this stamping plate, which I will show later on. This swatch is a little on the dark side, but I would definitely wear it. And then here they are all together. If I had to pick a favourite, it would have to be these two on the end. So let's now move on to the photo swatches. Stamping plate number one has 25 large style designs and then at the bottom there is nine smaller images. They're all floral inspired which for spring and summer is the perfect plate to own. For all of the swatches, I've used the same stamper you've just seen me use. It's really the only stamper I mainly use at the moment. There are some stunning designs throughout, and if you like floral manis, then this is definitely a must-have plate. I also feel this would be suitable for any level of stamping, whether you're just beginning or have been stamping a while. It truly is a great plate to have. I can't wait to return for some more manis. To be fair, there's quite a few swatches that I would really like to turn into manis. For example, the white and red roses to the really big purple and pink flower or the big red and yellow floral swatch. There's just so many to choose from. I'll be bringing the other four stamping plates to my channel over the next few weeks. So make sure that you're subscribed and have that bell notification on because at the moment I'm actually bringing four videos a week to my channel. So that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. But I think you'll agree that these designs are so pretty. If you haven't tried a Marianne Nail stamping plate yet, I highly recommend them. You really need to try them. I've loved working with these five and the other ones that I've swatched and reviewed as well. 
and I'm excited to share the other four with you. So on to the Manny and I just had this super bright but beautiful orange arrive and I thought it would work well. I have used four different images to make this Manny. I was originally going to stamp in white but for me to wear orange I quite often have to calm it down with black but I really like this. You could easily wear this for spring or summer. Don't forget to check out Marianne Nell's Facebook page and Instagram page. There are links in the description box. There are loads of Manny inspiration. Once again, a big thank you to Marianne Nails for sending me these stunning, stunning plates. So thank you for viewing my swatch review on Marianne Nails stamping plate number one. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below, I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. And also don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.